now, I don't have any, I don't have any power steering, it's hard for you to know, but that's not working. The rev counter's doing weird random things, like sometimes that twitches a bit on the rev counter. There is a light here that's flickering as well. I'm not sure that's showing, but there's the headlight. And when I do a full scan, this is all I can come up with now. Not much at all. So what I'm going to do now to prove the point... Oh, that's the steering came back, just like that. The steering's come back. So it's intermittent, the rev counter's come back as well. And the headlight light's staying on permanently now. I don't know if you can see it. So that's interesting. I wonder if I could get anything on a full scan again. What do we get this time? Now it's reading things, so it comes and goes. But what I could do before, whilst it wasn't working, I was going to start doing it again then. You see, it's starting to go. Door locks went on. And the door locks switch on when it does it as well. The door locks come on, the handbrake comes on all sorts of lights. So now it's getting confused. A few things it didn't manage to scan again, although some of it it is. And steering comes and goes. So that's the direction I'm going in right now. The ABS may be causing faults. So using this breakout lead set and a headlight bulb, I found out which wires I need to go to at the ABS module and I load tested them. I've already done that. With the wire disconnected at the ABS module, it's not plugged in. With the wire disconnected, things in the car start to work okay apart from there's no ABS. And what I've done here is jump there's two sets of canvas wires a blue and white wire, can high, can low. There's two uh, pairs of those wires. So I've just jammed the blue to the blue and the white to the white. And when it's like that, everything on the car seems to work, including the power steering, except for um, the ABS, obviously, because it's not connected. So even though I'm here to look at the power steering, I found that jumping the ABS module out like this, the uh, ABS isn't used, but I get the power steering to work. Now with that wire in the ABS module, I have the power steering working, and the dash seems to be working fine. I've not got any flickering lights anymore. And using the scan tool, I can communicate to more of the modules, although I'm still getting the last comes to the ABS because it's not plugged in. Okay, I've got the ABS module back. I sent it to a place called ECU Testing, and they've checked it, and they did confirm that the faults I said. It wasn't communicating, and also it was making other modules on the car go faulty. They said what they found wrong with it would have done that, so that's good. They fixed it, and it's got warranty. It took about a week from them collecting it to getting it back. So I fitted it in here, Pressure bleeding it using the pressure bleeder. So I'm only bleeding it at the ABS pump. I'm not going to the wheels. I don't need to. So that's something. So you should jack it up and taking the wheels off. Now I'm just going to clean it down, build it up, clear the fault codes if there's any still there. And that's it. I didn't film the end of the video, I forgot. But basically I got in the car, there was no fault codes in the engine ECU, the brakes were great, I road tested it because I wanted to make sure the live data was working, all the speed sensors and different things like that. But the car has been fine, so the guy's happy. Thanks for watching.